Dinosaur fossils are a big draw at the Denver Museum of Nature and Science. You can find them all over. But when a team of scientists from the museum were doing research in the parking lot back in January, they didn't expect to find one right below their feet. I mean, the probability, if you had drilled the well two feet over, might not have hit it. So it's pretty amazing. Dr. James Hagedorn led the team drilling into the parking lot. They were digging scientific cores, testing whether or not the museum could transition from natural gas to geothermal energy. So a scientific core is basically a cylinder of rock that we extract, kind of like a doctor uses a syringe to extract blood from you. So in a way, it, it is a bunch of dirt. It's kind of ancient dirt, actually. And nearly 800 feet into that ancient dirt, the fossil showed up. So one of the surprising things about this dinosaur in particular is that it turns out it's not only Denver's deepest dinosaur, but it's also its oldest. Those aren't the only records this bone is breaking. This is the first, and as far as I know, the only dinosaur bone from a core in the world that you can go see. There's only three of these that have been discovered on Earth and that have been reported. Dr. Hagedorn says his paleontologist colleagues determined the bone is the vertebra of a plant-eating dino. Maybe something similar to the Admonosaurus over here, or to a Thescalosaurus, or some, one of their kindred spirits of the time. And thanks to the rest of the core, he says you can tell the layer the fossil was found near was that of a pond. So for me, it's pretty neat to see, was that dinosaur drinking water out of that pond or munching on plants nearby? It's just something cool to imagine. A rare discovery made right beneath his feet. It is a needle inside of a needle inside of a haystack. Brian Wendland, Nine News. We thank you for watching and remember, stay updated on breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or watch live on our YouTube channel.